Well, folks, welcome back to another segment of Nittany Sports Huddle with your man Quintus McDonald and Blair Thomas. We are here at the brand new We Are statue with some We Are fans. It is Penn State, right? We Are? Penn State! We Are! We are. Penn State! We Are! Penn State! We Are! Penn State! That's right. That's yeah. right. Jonathan Kramer put this together for the class of 2013 to commemorate the fact that our football program refused to go to Florida and play in a game when black players weren't allowed on the field. That's the statement. That's where it came from. That's the history of we are. Because we stand as one, regardless, no matter what. And I, that, with that being said, we're still building the repair of what happened the last couple years, and now we're on the path to the uh, Greater pastures, I should that's say. That's right, greater pastures, because we are still Penn State. Yes, we, we stand together. We've lost some fans along the way. It's been tough. A lot of people were hurt. But you know what? We are still Penn State from the heart, and we're going to continue to move forward, without a doubt. And because the, today we are joining a beautiful day here in State right. College, getting ready for the opening of a 2016 season where Penn State is playing Kent State. We got our Penn Staters in training here. That's we got right, the young Penn right. Staters. Getting any, a little excited about the, the atmosphere here at Penn State. Any of you guys students currently? No. No, no just to be. So that's right. they're in training, right, Pop? <laughs> right. There we go. So, hey, don't forget to join us at NittanySportsHuddle.com. We've got Blog Talk Radio. We've got a ton of things going on. Come join the huddle, see what we're doing, and uh, have fun with us. That's it. All right. Because we are Penn State! State! That's right. that's going to um, meet you at your car and uh, bring all of your items over to the RV for you and help you put them in. Uh, the RVs are totally set up and ready to go when you get here, which means if it's a warm day, the air conditioner's on, the refrigerator's already cold and at temp ready for your food to go in. And that's the things that we fell in love with that. It's, it's a family atmosphere here and that's what we're trying to create here and that's what you get by renting with Go PSU RV. This is Coach Franklin and you're watching Nittany Sports Huddle. Welcome back to Nikki Sports Huddle. I'm here with Nikki, Vicky Horn, and uh, she's a Kent State fan, as you can see by her shirt. What is your predictions for the game today? Is this your first time to Happy Valley? I know that's two it is, questions. It is the first time to Happy Valley, and I'm here because I have a niece who's a freshman this year, and my sister-in-law invited me. Um, her father is, is Jim Meister, so, hey, yeah, you know. so I'm kind of in the family, but not, so it's a pleasure to be here. So, so coming here with a Kent State shirt on, how has the Penn State fans treated you? I know you're among I keep some waiting. Family. I keep waiting for the zingers and Joe. It, everybody's been wonderful. Yeah. Tell the Nittany Sports Nation what your names are and your class. You just, well, you've graduated so many right. times. So I'm Norm Foster, 93, 95, and... I'm uh, Cheryl Foster, 2013, and current student at the master's degree. Oh, me? Uh, I'm, I'm Jay Lindell. I didn't actually attend Penn State, but I work for Penn State. We adopted them. And, yeah. uh, there we go. My son is... Uh, it, it is a, a graduate, hopefully, and then 2022, we'll see. Okay. Well, you see, Nittany Lions multiply. Come on in here. Just coming in out of nowhere. Right. 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 And your name? Leanne. Leanne? Yeah. Yep. And your this is our student? daughter, yep. current yep. student, awesome. Penn State World Campus. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Great. What is your prediction for the game? I'd like to think that Penn State would pull it off. I just hope we do score. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> We, we do our thing out here as best we can, just like you guys did the best thing that you can, you know, when you did your thing. And uh, it's just, you know, we love to have you guys out at any point, however we can help. Yeah. We'll do it in the stands, we'll do it here on, out on the grass. There you go. Right. Right. Let's do it in the So 
if it's your first trip coming to uh, gopsurv.com for a weekend, this is the intersection you're looking for, Orchard and Wiley. You meet us here, and we're going to give you a free bellhop service over to your RV. So once you've located Orchard and Wiley intersection, just pull here along the road in these grass spots, and uh, our carts will meet you here. Again, free bellhop service from here over to the RV. Talk about concierge and relationship. From the time you arrive, and you're gonna you're gonna bring their bags back when the weekend's over. On relationships, experience. OPSURV, it needs four tunnel. Hey, Christian Hackenberg, and you're watching Indy Sports Metal TV. Seven, seven. All right, that's from former running back, Mr. Pitts. Biggest thing, you know, what I really want to see is this offense, this new offense. I'm really fascinated to see what's going to happen. 34-14. Uh, I still think we'll score about 40 points. Um, I don't think they'll get 80, so I'm going to go 42 to 18. 42 18. Man, how can you change your score from yesterday to today? The sun went up, came down, didn't it? <laughs> and it came back up. So I could change my score. Mr. What Pitts, was yours? Mr. Pitt brought up some good points about the offense. Right. Okay, Offense is always usually the, the last to gel. Um, it's a lot of adrenaline flowing, guys moving around. But I'm going to stick firm to my prediction, which I'm going to go ahead and tell it, and then I'm going to give you a little bit more afterwards. Right, okay? My prediction was 42-28 was my prediction. It was 42-27. 28, 27, 28, 28. 29. Well, they, they, they had the strength of Kent State is on their defense. It's their defense. But we negate we're gonna get some points on special teams. There we go. That's so that's that's where we're gonna point. get a couple points in. Towards the end of the game, they gonna I think because of how we started last year against Temple, I think this team will be more prepared and they're gonna go out there with the new offense, with more heads offense, which everybody always talk about new offense. There's only 11 places you can line up, so it's it's football. Uh, but it's how you package those sets of plays is going to dictate. And I think, you know, Moore is going to do a better job than John Donovan did last year. So I'm sticking firm to my 42 28. So, so what I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing word about no huddle offense. Well, hey, that, that, that's playing into my favor. <laughs> certainly do that every weekend so yeah. the last uh, four or five years we've gotten into um, offering um, where we will stock the RV for you so you give us a list down to ketchup or mustard or salt Excellent. it's going to be in there for you great poupon <laughs> great poupon and you put what size you want it's going to be there for you excellent hi i'm jesse james and you're watching Mindy sports huddle Back to the Nittany Sports Huddle post game show coming to you live from the Bryce Jordan Center with the lovely, lovely Beaver Stadium in the background after an opening day, opening day victory for the Nittany Lions coming off the field with a 33 to 13 victory over Kent State. A very tough and game 
um, MAC conference opponent today. Well, we we knew going into the game that the MAC conference is always a strong conference. Absolutely. And they come out there and they disappoint people from year in and year out. But uh, but what I want to get into before we get too far away from it is we we want to talk about the predictions a little bit. You know, uh, I had the predictions of a 42-28 right. uh, Penn State victory. Uh, what was your prediction? Which one? <laughs> yeah, prediction now that we say that, which yeah. one? Well, the I one tell on you Friday what, my, Saturday. my closest <laughs> prediction was 42 to 18, Penn State victory. So I actually won. I don't think so. Huh. 42 18, the score was 33 13. You said 42 28. Yes, but. Folks, help him, help him, give him some fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Let him help him out. Give the me some fact that, right, The fact that what? No, I, I'll, I'll give it to you that you was closer on their score. <laughs> 42 so, is 42. Yeah, 42 is 42. So on the over or however that stuff works in Vegas, I'm not. You guys are out there in Nittany Lion land. Are they, are they Okay, no. Are they betting we, we will give him 1-0 victory. 1-0. I'll Whoa. take it. I'll take <laughs> it. Victory. Just like the Nittany yeah. Lions, we're up one nothing. Absolutely, absolutely. What did you see from the Nittany Lions that impressed you or disappointed you? Well, um, I, I came away with no disappointments. No disappointments at all. Um, anytime we get a victory, there are things that need to be improved upon. Absolutely, but a disappointment, I wouldn't. I didn't see any disappointments. Um, what I was impressed with was the fact that these kids played down after down after down. Even coming back from a big play, we got a turnover, we went in and we scored a touchdown, came back and turned the ball over for a touchdown, you know, the very the very next series, but did not get down. There was a point in time, think about our opening game last year. We had some things happen, some adversity took place in the opening game last year, and not only did the, well, I think the coaches folded up and packed it in, and so did the players. It's easy for the player to pack it in when the coaches do. So very impressed with the resilience of the Nittany Lion Ball Club today. That's well, my, my big impression. Well, the, I, I agree with you. And then I also disagree because I think the resilience side of it is something that if you expect to be a high-powered team, you have to have resilience and overcome obstacles. But I also think that there was some coaching things that disappointed me. Such and as? Such as when we went to for the two-point conversion oh. early in the game. Yeah, I, I, I think didn't understand that. You no know, no one understood that. Yeah. All right? Your first game of the season, at first I thought, it well, well, maybe he's trying to show that he wants to be aggressive, tone, be aggressive, and we're going to go at them every step, which he said in his first year. But as I kind of think about it, I thought not converting that, that that was not a good series. We should have just went on. And, and kick the extra point. Okay. And then we would only, no worst case scenario, even if they, they did come back and tie it, we would still have been up one. So that's the one thing that was disappointing to me. But overall, I thought the kids played extremely hard. I thought they fought from start to finish. They competed, which is everything that a coach want to see out of kids. They competed from start to finish. But the, the going forward on, on for, uh, for the extra point was just one of the things that really didn't sit it left well. A, it left, a, it left yeah. a bad taste in your mouth? Yes. Make yes. you do the yuck face. So, yeah. <laughs> so we got a bad taste for the two-point conversion. Uh, I can agree with that. We'll be back after these messages with more Nittany Sports Huddle in our post-game show. Andrews? Anders. 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 How are Anders. you? Are you a Penn State? I'm a student, yeah. You're a yes. student? Excellent, yeah. excellent. Quintus McDonald. I'm wonderful, wonderful. Blair okay, Thomas, we both played here. Awesome. He a played a lot longer ago. than I did. He's an old dinosaur. I'm more recent, but anyway. Are you serious? No, we were seniors. <laughs> yeah. uh, but cool. tell us what you think about the performance today. I thought it was great. I thought McSorley was good. A lot safer throws. Definitely quicker offense. What did you guys think? Right, that's, that's great, yeah. great inside vision from a, from a Penn Stater. He watched the game. He's very, very much on point as far as McSorley and his accuracy. Um, he'll do better with the deep ball once he gets, yeah. gets his feet under him. He'll do better and get the ball out there a little bit. But he threw every pass today that a quarterback can throw, and he threw them all well. All right, Mr. Mr. Offense, what do you think? Don't turn your back to the no, camera. No, See, no. He's about to say something. I, I, I agree that uh, it was a safer game plan, and um, 
McSorley was not putting into any difficult posi positions. I Ooh. thought he, he threw the ball well. He completed Thank the you. passes that needed to be completed. <laughs> but that but comes with a new offensive coordinator. So this has nothing to do when, with when, anything in the past, though. We're talking no, no, about no. today's game. <laughs> it's like you're making excuses for something that happened in the past. Is that what I'm it sounds not, like you, Andrew? Yeah. See, I'm not making you're excuses. You're down two. <laughs> you're down two zip right no. here on Nittany Sports Huddle TV. <laughs> but I thought that you guys were kind of leaning towards the fact that we didn't do something last year. Nobody said a word about year. last year. <laughs> we said today this man was accurate, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. He yes. threw the ball well. He threw every pass on the field well. Yes, he did. I, mean, I, I, I agree. I'll bow to agree Andrew, to that. Thank you. What year I'm are you, sir? Senior. I'm a senior. I'm graduating in December. Is that right? Yeah. What, awesome, what's man. your major? Uh, PR. 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 Public hey. relations, yeah. folks. There you go. See this, yeah. young Anders. What's your last name? Hershberger. Hershberger. Anders Hershberger. Hershberger. Look be for coming. him out there. He's gonna be coming back wanting to get this tape so he can use <laughs> his uh, PR material. PR yeah. material. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, you can find us at yep. Nitty Sports Huddle TV. Yeah, NittySportsHuddle.com. It's Nittany Sports Huddle TV. Awesome. Look us up, nice man. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet so you much. as well. Thanks. That's all right, nice take speech. care. All right, all you Anders fans, <laughs> peace and love to you. Hey, you too. Quintus McDonald. I'm Blair Thomas. We out. Thank you for listening to Nittany Sports Huddle TV. Peace.